the sweat of other men's labor. That's my guest, Sharon Jones, singing People Don't Get What They Deserve from the soundtrack of the new documentary, Miss Sharon Jones, which was directed by Barbara Koppel. And um, that featured uh, the Dap Kings, of the band that backs her. Um, you watched a lot of TV when you were sick, but you don't say anything in the film about listening to a lot of music. Did you listen to I a didn't. lot of... How, I didn't. How come? Um, because I couldn't sing. I couldn't get it because people didn't realize I was cut across the diaphragm all the way up from right under the mid center under my breast all the way down to top of my navel almost. So they had to cut through the diaphragm, through the stomach, remove stuff. They removed like 10 pounds of, of things was taken out of my body, You're 10 kidding. pounds that I never gained back. Gosh. You know. So you can only listen to music when you can sing? Well, I I didn't want to. I was just down. I mean, here I am not performing. I've been working almost 20 years on the stage, and here it is these months. I went from May to actually September when you saw me in that church sing. It was the first time I sang in months, you know, and then I had to get prepared to do the um, um, the Thanksgiving Day Parade in November. You know, I had to get out there and lip sync. Even though I lip sync, I still had to be up and be around, you know. And waving. And I then, mean, that's pretty strenuous yeah. when you've had major surgery. Oh, my God, yes. And then December, I had a lot of um, TV shows. Different things started opening up before. And then January, I'm doing all the TV shows and all this stuff. And then February, boom, the stage. So I was preparing myself. Everything that I, you know, the singing was there. It wasn't, I wasn't ready to do it. I couldn't get the air in and to breathe, you know, to push it back out. And so until we started rehearsing and, and, mm -hmm. and yeah. There's a scene in the documentary, Miss Sharon Jones, when you go to a church in Queens, New York, mm -hmm. and you sing His Eye is on the Sparrow. And uh, it's a really nice scene. Um, I thought we could listen to you singing that. And this is, the, as you said, this is the first time that you sang after getting the surgery and starting chemo. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't we hear that? Okay. And then we'll talk. Again, I just want to give honor to God. And right now I'm going to try to sing a little bit of His Eyes on a Spell. And I sing because You were not holding back. <laughs> no, I was. I was letting it all out, and I was, you know, and and it's that's a difference. And um, anointing came over me. I just opened my mouth, and they just come out, you know, and the, the air just flowed. And and that was like I said, from that sh thing, I knew that God had watched over me, and he he had me ready. I was gonna be ready for February. Why did you choose that song to be the first song and to be the song that you sang in this small neighborhood church? Because if he watches over a little sparrow, you know, <laughs> if he take care of the birds, a little sparrow, here I am, one of his children, you know. We got so many of us down here, human beings that send our faith up and believe. And if he watch over a sparrow, I know he watches over me. And that was the song. And it was about I'm singing, you know, because I'm happy.